You were right though, mate. Skating in the city is way more fun than back home. Yeah, well, I've been trying to get you down here for ages. Yeah, I know. Just life gets in the way a bit though, doesn't it? Yeah. We're not kids anymore, are we? It's like when you're 12, you see people in their 20s and you think they've got it all figured out, but I still feel like a kid trying to discover the world. And honestly, like, I mean, I've got more responsibilities now, but I didn't miss it when I was younger. Yeah. Same, like, being a kid were like the happiest days of my life, you know. Going to the park on the weekends, playing football, going out with two quid and just like making it last all day, really. Yeah, two quid did used to last so long back then. It was like, money's so much more important now. I've got so many dreams and so many things that I want to do and I can't because I'm skinned. Yeah, I thought I'd be traveling the world by this age, but I'm 22 and I've not left England. It's like, as you get older, you just got to kind of figure out your priorities. What are your priorities nowadays? How long have you got? <laughs> well, back for good now, so. Yeah. Well, I've been working at the Anchor for about a year now. Made some good mates down there. Met Lucy, my girlfriend. She's great, actually. You'd love her. Do you still see the boys? Yeah, sometimes, but it's hard because everyone's so busy and it's hard to find time, really, but. Mm. How's your mum? Uh, she's ill again, actually. Um, you know, I've just been spending a lot of time at hers, making teas, cleaning the house, stuff like that. But, you know, I've done it once, so I'll do it again. Yeah, well, hope she's all right. Anyway, how, how was America? Yeah, America was, um, it was great. Honestly, uh, I didn't think it would be because I didn't know anyone, but that just made me feel completely free. Mm. And I was eating pancakes all the time. <laughs> I put on about three stone. Oh, mate, <laughs> I'm so jealous. It sounds so good. It was. It's strange now being back in Manchester. I bet, yeah. It's so nice around here. Can't believe this is where you live. You want a cigarette? Yeah, go on then. How's Katie? You guys still together? She's fine. Yeah. Fair enough. It's funny actually, I was thinking about you the other day, when you sent a message actually. Uh, me and Lucy were walking the dog down the park. You got a dog together? No. That's pretty serious. <laughs> no, no, it's her parents dog. Oh. But um, we were walking it down the park, they're just tearing it down. Like, I know it was like rusty and all old, but it's kind of sad seeing it torn to pieces. Yeah. So I was thinking actually, um, I've got a mate who lives around here. And I was thinking tomorrow, watch the game with him. You can come if you want. Or... I thought we were going to watch the game together. Yeah, yeah, we can all watch it together. Yeah, but I don't... Why would I want to go watch the game with some lad I've never met? I mean, well, I thought we were going to spend some time together. I thought that's why you came. Yeah, well, I mean, we still will watch the game together. We could do it together. It'd be fun. Fucking... Okay. Mate, what was wrong with you? 
There's nothing wrong with me. You've been acting off all day. I'm not, I'm fine, I'm just, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. It's, it's all right, whatever. All right, well, do you want to skate? Yeah. Sorry, mate, I, I really don't want to pry, but is, is something up? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just feeling a bit lost at the minute. Since coming back from America? Yeah. I was so sick, though, that, you know, you went and did that. You've surely got loads of opportunities now. Like, I couldn't dream of doing something like that. Uh, it wasn't like that. America wasn't, um... What? What do you want me to say? I mean, I don't know. What do you want me to say? I, I went to America and it was shit. And I'm in, I'm in Chicago and I thought maybe I'd stand out because of my accent, but I didn't. I was just fading into the background and no one, no one cared about me. And I, I didn't have anyone to talk to. And I'm trying to balance all my life. I'm trying to balance uni and, and work and everything was so expensive. And Katie's messaging me all the time, making me feel guilty for leaving. Uh, and then one day she rings me and she tells me she's pregnant. And I didn't know what to say. I, I asked her if it was mine and she said it was. So I, I didn't want to disappoint anyone, but I came back. Because I had to be with her, I had to be there for her. Um, we spent a lot of time together and we were excited. And she, she lost the baby. She lost the baby. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. I didn't, I was, my whole life is just, you know, no America, no, no money, no, no baby, no. She, and I, I blamed it on her because I didn't, we were arguing all the time, and so she left me. So now I've fucked all my life up. And I thought maybe going to America would be a fresh start. I thought I'd change things. And I thought I'd do big things, and I haven't. And to be honest, I thought coming back and seeing you, I thought maybe it'd make me feel a bit better about myself. But it hasn't. You've got your shit sorted, and you're on top of it, and everything's going great for you. And to be honest, that just makes me feel a lot worse. Well, thanks. <sighs> Look, mate, like, I get what you mean, but none of that's your fault. None of it's her fault either. It's just the way it happened. You know, when you saw me last time, I was on my ass and I didn't want to see anyone or do anything, but, you know, things get better or they get worse, but that's just how life goes. You know. You've, you've gone to America and that's way better than anything that anyone from where we're from has done. So you're already way ahead. For me, it's like, sure, I'm working down the pub and, you know, maybe that's not great to some people. Maybe it's underachieving, but I'm happy and I like what I'm doing. I think you put so much pressure on yourself to always be on to the next thing and always be trying to outdo yourself. But I think you just put too much pressure on it, you know. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but I think you just need to let yourself breathe a bit. Yeah. Uh, who knew being an adult would be so fucking hard? <laughs> yeah. Come on, lad, you'll be all right. <laughs> do you want to go get a drink and have a few places? <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. I wonder who will have the mental breakdown next year.